Hello, hello. We are live. I think we are live. Um, hold on one second. My iPhone is syncing files, so I hope that we are live. We are broadcasting, and I'm not all robotic like today. I wanted to talk to you about the importance of celebrating ourselves. This is such an important thing. Now, many of the people I work with are in some way driven, passionate, determined, got an important message to share into helping people transform their lives. And because of that, they can sometimes quite easily just keep plodding along. And I'm just going to pause this sinking thing. Let's have a look. Um, mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, hopefully it means that I've got my connection back properly. Okay, um, so yeah, quite often we, we are so in that, right, tick this off and now this is what I'm going to do next or driven to make a difference. And often we're actually helping and doing a lot for other people. So sometimes we put ourselves lost. So in today's very short video, I'm going to share three things that will help when it comes to um, celebrating ourselves because it's whenever I've um, either coached people or had conversations with people and said so how are you going to celebrate yourself it's an easy question to ask but one of the hardest to answer and I put my hand up to that as well you know quite often I'm asked so you've done this thing how are you going to celebrate that and, and sometimes it's difficult so here are, are three reasons why I really want you to look through your day to day or any of your days just in the last few days over this week and think about how you can publicly acknowledge it or celebrate yourself. There are three important reasons for this. The first one, I've mentioned the word acknowledge. When we acknowledge what we've achieved, how far we've come, this actually gives us um, more momentum to go on and do the next thing. Because sometimes at the start of wanting to do something, be something, have something, live something, we would have been in a moment, even if it's for a few seconds of, how am I going to do this? How do I do this? You know? And um, so when we acknowledge ourselves, we actually acknowledge the journey, we acknowledge how far we've come. And um, so Think for a moment of something that you've done and something, um, if it's something that you've done this week, let me give you an example. You know, I have had lots of information that I've had to send out to various organisations this week. And at the beginning of the week, it can look a bit like a big pile of things on a to-do list. How am I going to get this done? Where am I going to find time? Am I going to pitch it? properly am I going to use the right words are they going to like the work are they going to get what I'm doing are they going to pick up the phone am I going to pick up the phone oh you know all of these questions go round and round um so you know for me I started the week with this mountain of things that I really needed to get done yeah of course I can push it back to next week but I wanted to get them done this week so I can move on to the next thing next week and I'm not going to lie, this week has been a really tough week for so many reasons in so many ways for me. And there were would have been lots of reasons that I could have said, you know what, I'm going to press pause on that and I'll do it later. And in the grand scheme of things, maybe nobody would have noticed, maybe they would have waited a bit longer and it would have got done eventually. But in the end, I decided to just do it piece by piece. So I can sit here now on Friday with a couple of more things to do throughout today. But now I can acknowledge where I was on Monday, where I've been throughout the week, the ups, the downs, the highs, the lows, and that I've got here today. That is a journey worth acknowledging. And whilst for me, my personality means that it's not important to me to um, you know, blast out everywhere, hey, look at what I've done. It's important to me and it should be acknowledged. OK, so acknowledgement is number one. Number two, um, it shines a light on what we tolerate, i.e. what we put up with. Now, I did share this in the Vibes Tribe. Um, last night I attended um, a really great, um, a really great webinar, actually, 
um, and it was very interactive. And it was around knowing our numbers. And, and anyone who's ever coached with me will know that I'm always talking about knowing your numbers. But from a visibility perspective, this is about knowing your numbers from a sales um, perspective. And we went deeper and I realized there were a few gaps. Um, Ashley put it really nicely when he said, it's all well and good building a funnel or building a system, but you need to pour the water in it to check out where the leaks are and fill those gaps, you know, plug those gaps before you can acknowledge this works well for me, for my business. Um, so in doing that, I realized there were some things that I've been tolerating in normal language I've been putting up with. Oh, well, this thing doesn't work. Well, that doesn't matter. Or this thing didn't happen. So I guess that's OK. And if that were true, I wouldn't do the work that I do, you know. So it shines a light on what you're tolerating, what you might be putting up with that you might not even realise, because here's my real lived experience. Sometimes I can put up with something for so long that you forget that you are tolerating it. It becomes part of the fabric and you think, oh, it's, it's OK. It doesn't matter when it really does to you. And again, and thank you for the thumbs up on that. And again, um, it doesn't matter if it doesn't matter to anybody else. When you think about this, and this isn't just in business, this is in life. The things that we aspire to, the things that we dream about, the things that we want are our dreams because they are our dreams. I don't expect anyone else to share the dreams that I have for myself, the plans that I have for myself, because they're mine. They came from me. So um, if that resonates with you and you've got um, a dream or a number of dreams, desires that you've been planning, just type a yes in the box on there. Um, I just want to see, even if you're watching on the replay, play along. OK, so first thing is acknowledgement. Second thing is toleration. So the last thing are the promises that we keep to ourselves. Now, when something doesn't go well, it can um, build a feeling within us of disappointment. And I believe that disappointment is trebled, you know, doubled, trebled, 10x when um, we realize that we've broken a promise to ourselves. So here's the thing. A promise a bit like um, a, a goal can sometimes be broken down into smaller pieces. But when we don't celebrate ourselves, we actually break the promises that we've made for ourselves or to ourselves, even if it's business related, even if it's career related, even if it's family related, even if it's health related. If we've said, I would really like to lose X amount of weight by X amount of time, and then we've done nothing to go towards it, the reason for disappointment is because we've broken a promise that we made ourselves. And if we have declared it publicly at the start, then we feel like we've let other people down. I can't tell you how many times I hear people say, but I don't want to let so-and-so down. I don't want to let my team down. I don't want to let my staff down. I don't want to let my family down. I don't want to let my friends down. I don't want to let my spouse, my lover, my husband, my wife, my, you know, whoever down. So it's really, really important that we um, celebrate to keep promises to ourselves. So I would like you to, um, to decide to do something today. If you are in the Visibility Vibes Tribe group, please, please, please go in, start a new post and share with us. You can write it, you can video it, you can do it, stream it live if you'd like to, and let us know what you are celebrating yourself for this week. I'll, I'll put one in there as well. Now, if you want to be more visible to your own audience or your own friends and family, maybe type a post or, or make a video or go live, live stream across whichever social media channel is your favourite and let them know why you're celebrating yourself for the thing or things that you, you've done this week. Do you think you can do that? If you can, maybe give me a love heart. Um, again, even if you're watching on the replay, I am nosy by nature, but I love to celebrate with other people. And when they say, you know, oh, I've done this thing or Jenny, I've achieved that, you know, clients 
cross some sort of financial goal or manage to fill a space on their team or been nominated for award, I can't tell you how excited that makes me. And actually, it makes this work like just even more like valuable. I feel even more honoured to be part of your path. So today and every Friday, take a moment to remember to celebrate yourself for something or some things. I'm about to celebrate myself because I'm about to get changed and go for a run. And I've kept up my promise to do all of the runs that I needed to do this week. So what are you celebrating this week? If you want to type in the in the comment below, please do. Lots of love to you. Have a fabulous weekend. And um, I might be a bit missing in action next week. I've got um, a talk coming up. I've got um, some really exciting things, irons in the fire. I can't talk about them, but um, some really exciting irons in the fire. And I've got some choices to make as well. So um, I might be a bit quiet next week, but I'm still here, still looking at your comments and wishing you the best weekend. Bye for now.